So I just got back from Sam's Club and Lidl with my mom. And at Sam's Club, I ended up getting the Premier Protein Peaches and Cream and the Premier Protein Cookies and Cream. I haven't tried the cookies and cream. And then I got me some Kind Bars to snack on. And I also ended up getting toothpaste and um, mouthwash, but that's not fun stuff. So the rest of this is from Lidl. So there's three small pizzas in here, brick oven style pizza, the mozzarella. I think I might have this for lunch. Um, Brandon's on his way back home so he can help me eat it. I got some more almond milk, vanilla. I always get the sweetened because I can't get myself accommodated to the unsweetened yet. I got me some green beans, some lady stuff for that time of the month, and then I got some peppers because I'm going to make peppers with some kielbasa and rice eventually this week. Brandon likes baby bells, so I got him a small bag of baby bell cheeses. Tums for any acid reflux we got going on. I got two avocados. They were a little pricey. They were like $1.29, but they're big avocados. So I got two of those for salads. I got two lemons for my water. We like to eat edamame, and we ha I haven't tried this from Lidl, so I thought we could give this a try. We picked up Remy at the grocery store. Remy, say hi. You helping me sort through groceries? Um, some organic strawberries because they're pretty much out of season but I figured I could cut these up and eat those um, eggs and then I got some tomatoes for my salads and then I also got these two um, flatbreads so that me and Brandon can make our own little flatbread pizzas one night and put some tomatoes and mozzarella so that is all I got from Lidl and Sam's Club Today is Sunday, September 8th, and last night I had a horrible fever, and I tossed and turned all night because I was hot, cold, hot, cold. Um, at like 4 a.m. I took a freezing cold shower because I was just so hot. Nothing I was doing was helping. I took ibuprofen, I took Dayquil, um, because that's all I had, and my throat is still hurting, and... I feel like I'm trying to cough up mucus, but there's nothing there, so I don't know if I'm getting another upper respiratory infection. Um, but, yesterday, me and Brandon went to the gym, which is a plus, and it felt really good. I wanted to go again today, but yesterday after I ate dinner, I started feeling horrible. I started, like, freezing. I had two blankets on top of me, and I was like, I have a fever. Um... When I checked it, it was low grade. It was 100.8. But I don't know what's going on with me. So, hopefully I get better. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, September 10th. Um, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And I just got home from patient first. I have tonsillitis and also an upper respiratory infection. And when she looked in my throat, she was like, you have to be having difficulty swallowing and breathing because it is so inflamed. The whole back of my throat is like white. So she sent in my antibiotic and I kept waiting for it. And I know I was driving the pharmacy crazy because I kept asking like, is my, pharma is my prescription ready? Like, I need it. I can't even swallow. I've never had this before. Um, I know last year I had a really bad upper respiratory infection that led to bronchitis. And I am starting to cough up mucus, but as far as my throat, like the left side of my throat is so bad and it's so hard to swallow. When she told me that the back of my throat was really swollen and white, I got in my car and, you know, you look in the mirror and you say, ah. And when I looked, like... You can see where the infection, the white, is like following along like my veins in the back of my throat and it's all like spread out and weird. Sorry, I have to take my time swallowing. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any hard food to eat. I can't eat anything hard. 
and I've been living off of like chicken broth and this has been going on since Saturday initially because that's when I had my f low grade fever of like 100.8 and um, then it went down to like 98 and then yesterday at work when I checked it it was 97 so I don't have a fever I guess because the infection is just full blown already and that's my body like telling me I knew when I got the chills on Saturday that something was wrong but I was like it's probably just an upper respiratory infection and my throat had been hurting a little bit which it does when I get my upper respiratory infections but full-blown tonsillitis like this is so bad and if I open my mouth like really wide to take a bite of food or if I have to yawn I get this like really bad stabbing pain all across my throat right here so I called out of work I don't want to be talking to patients I don't want to be around patients I don't want to risk getting them sick and giving them this so just wanted to update you guys I just got back from the pharmacy finally took my first antibiotic um, pill, Seftin, 250 milligrams, at one every 12 hours, and I just want relief. I can deal with a runny nose, I can deal with sneezing, but this, I love food, and <laughs> I can't even eat food, and, um, living off of broth and soups and hot tea is just not gonna cut it, and when I drink something cold, it feels like it makes it even more inflamed, so I've just been staying away from cold and drinking nothing but warm liquids. And, um, yeah. So that's the update for you guys. So, weight loss should be fairly good this month because I haven't been eating the things that I can't be eating because I can't swallow them. I'll pretty much choke on it. I have no room in my airway to swallow large quantities of chewed up food. And... Um, I even have a hard time swallowing my pills because it's so swollen. So, it's not painful when I talk, it's just, um, uncomfortable. But when I swallow, it just feels like someone's, like, taking a knife and just, like, stabbing me right here. And, um, yeah. So, that's how my September's going so far. But, I wanted to vlog more this month because I know last month I didn't vlog a lot because I had a lot going on. And it seems like this month I'm going to have a lot going on too. When it rains, it pours. I wanted to show you guys that I have a problem. So, these two totes right here, they used to be full of my gym clothes. Like leggings, sports bras, and all the shirts that I use. So there's two of them there. And I went to my mom's over the weekend and picked up my armoire. And it's full of stuff. So... This whole top shelf is sports bras, and that's not including the ones that are dirty and haven't been washed and put away. These two stacks are all t-shirts and tank tops to work out in, and these two big piles are all leggings to work out in, besides um, these Christmas ones, I just threw those in there, but there's workout shorts in there too, and there's a couple pairs of regular leggings too that I can just wear like under a big shirt or something but yeah just figured I would show you guys my addiction problem so not only am I addicted to like buying soaps and smellies like behind me over there but I'm addicted to buying sports bras and apparently workout clothes even though I don't work out as much as I should you gonna say hi? Hello? What you doing? You gonna say hi? Say hi, my name is Tucker. And I was adopted. Yeah. He's a pretty boy. Remy? Say hi. So, as you guys saw, for the month of September, I gained two pounds. <sighs> I'm so frustrated with myself, and... I hate feeling this way and I talked to my manager at work because we have a weight management doctor that works in another practice that works for our company and I'm really considering seeing a weight management doctor just for the accountability um, and I know that I wanted to lose weight before I see my primary care in November but I just don't see it happening I just 
I can't stop drinking the sugary drinks from Starbucks and Dunkin'. I have no motivation to go to the gym. And I can't remember if I mentioned it in this vlog or not, but I've unfollowed a lot of fitness influencers on Facebook and Instagram because watching them, I'm petting my new kitten, <laughs> watching them, you know, look so good and be so strong and healthy really doesn't help my mental state right now and I don't want to see it until I'm better and I want to do better. It's just trying to find the drive to do it. Um, I'm not happy that I weighed, um, what was it, 225.4? I'm not happy about that at all. And then, spoiler alert, first day of October, my cycle came, of course, so I was bloated. And I weighed in at 226, so that's my beginning weight for October. Um, but yeah, September I was hoping was going to be better than August. And of course I'm hoping October is going to be better than September, but... In order for me to see change, I have to want to change, and I feel like if I have somebody to talk to, like a weight management doctor, um, that will help me. I know a couple of people have asked, you know, why don't you do keto? I don't do keto because a lot of the meals I see people doing have meat. I don't eat a lot of meat. I only eat meat when I feel like I want to eat it, so I can do the other types of healthy fats on keto but no meat because I don't eat meat like a regular average Joe that would eat meat. Um, so I don't think keto is right for me. Plus, back when I was 137 two or three years ago, I still wasn't eating a lot of meat. I would eat tuna here and there and, you know, fish and chicken, but I was eating really clean. I was eating a lot of salads. I was eating fresh fruit every now and then. I ate a ton of vegetables for fiber. And it just frustrates me because I know I can get back to where I want to be. I'm just not doing it. I keep making up excuses. And I keep finding excuses for myself to not go to the gym, to not eat healthy, to just order out at work. And I'm beyond frustrated, so... I did go ahead and show you guys the picture, um, or the video of my new kitten. His name is Tucker. I adopted him. I didn't want Remy to be home alone anymore, so that's another update, but back to weight loss. Um, I'm really going to try harder in October. My mom wants to go to the gym with me. That's totally new for her. I finally talked her into it, I guess. And she has a couple pounds that she still wants to lose and she wants to tone, so... Yeah, I'm hoping that together we can achieve our goals. She also offered to, you know, start buying healthy groceries for me and cooking. And I could eat with her a couple times a week because my mom eats pretty clean too. So we're going to give that a go and I will see you guys in October.